hello folks welcome to the unity tutorial series so in this tutorial we will uh, start with the basics and then from the other tutorials we will be starting working on the programming side we will be learning C sharp instead of Java because C sharp is a modern language nowadays uh, once you get the grip of one language, you can work on any language. So, let's see what uh, what we are going to learn. So, in this tutorial, <coughs> we are going to learn about the Unity interface, the hierarchy, inspector, and layout. And then we are going to talk about the simple Unity functions, how to import, export packages. Uh, we'll be talking about the scenes the local global uh, will be making a scene yeah so let's get a start uh, yeah first of all there are so many uh, unity tutorials out there but this unity tutorial is you can see it is more detailed uh, it is perfect for the beginners to start with and besides that of the other tutorials I will be teaching you to make the real game so you can you will be able to learn more if you're working on a game rather than just walking uh, just watching random tutorials so let's start this tutorial first we will be making a new project this is this is simply just for the terms who are just starting up for the first time the unity once you have installed the unity uh, first of all if you if you're wondering where to install the Unity, you can just go to Google. And then just type download Unity. And then just download the free version. There are two versions. One is this free version. And the other is the Unity Pro version. You have to buy that. Uh, Unity Pro versions, it has shadows, it has image effects, we will talk uh, about this later. But Unity Pro has a lot of more functions. As is like uh, This kind of effects, if you can see the buses, buses like, if you just zoom in, this kind of effects I cannot explain. But this kind of uh, effects and these shadows, the real-time real -time shadows, the rendered shadows, that comes in Unity Pro version. So uh, the system requirements and you can check it's available on Windows and Mac both. Uh, I prefer Mac for working and uh, definitely Windows for the real game. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, if you have the Unity there and you have lots of uh, lots of folders you're working on, just hold Alt that is ALT and press unity this will appear the project reserve now click on this create new project and these are the if you can see these are the packages uh, what packages mean is is the default packages like if you uh, click this character controller package uh, you will get the first person controller and third person controllers you don't have to program it and and if you add the skyboxes unity package uh, it will uh, it will add the sky in your project so we will go through it also later first of all let's set this is the project directory where you want to create the project i want to create it in the desktop so just name it tutorial one let's do tutorial one Save and just create it. No, no package at all so far. Okay. You will get a layout something like this. I think yeah, this one default. You will get something like this. But this is my personal uh, layout. You can make the layout. You can change. You can do the key, you know, like this, and then you can save it here so I will start with default is default will be the common one so if you see here in the left corner we will start with this 
Yeah, if you will look at this, in the left side you have this hierarchy. What hierarchy means it uh, items you are having in your scene. Now let's say what is scene. A scene is mm, well. There are two uh, views in Unity. A scene is where you make all the things, and in game where these all appear. They look it renders. So let's make a cube. Let's like just press create and you make a cube. And this is the position of the cube. It says zero, zero, zero. And now see, this is the scene view. You can play with it, but you cannot play with game view. This is only the view of the game. How it's going to appear. You can also check it by just by pressing play button. This is what what your game will appear like. So for now, I'm just deleting it. Okay, so here in the hierarchy you can create so many things. You have the camera, uh, let's start with the basic. You have cube, spheres, capsule, cylinder, plan. Like all the things can be created from here, hierarchy. And then in your right side, you have what you call inspector. Inspector is, the, is, the, is like acting as the detail. Like, uh, you will select any item and it will appear uh, it will appear with the details in it so this is main camera and uh, this has position rotation scale and it has yeah advanced things we will talk about this later on for now this is like field of view field of view means how much zoom how much zoom out okay and now at the bottom you have project now oh, this is your project, like if you are within Finder, this is the set folder. In the assets folders you have everything. If you want your images, videos, you have to have in your assets folder. These are like, not your stuff, this is like, uh, skip it, this is the, all we have to worry about is the assets folder. So let's do one thing, make a folder here, create folder scene uh, we will make our scene here to save the scene first of all make a habit to save the scene so you don't lose any data save scene as uh, test and scene okay and now let's also talk about this simple function that you need here this is the drag hand tool that simply drags uh, this is the move tool uh, This is the rotation tool and this is the size tool and there are shortcut also W for the move E for the rotation and R for the size W E R All right uh, Yeah, and this is pivot When you have like so many options very useful to set this uh, pivot and local and global, uh, well, that will be compl complicated for now, but let's uh, let's say if you have if you have camera in a room, and if you have a camera in a world, so the camera in a room will be local, and camera in the world will be global. Something like this. All right. So. These are like files you can create new scene from file you can create you can save the scene from here You can save the project in the build settings when you have created your game you Just uh, What you say render your game or build your game and then you have player setting here You can choose what setting what what screen resolution you want You can have iOS Android version of it for the for the iOS, Android, and Xbox 360, and others, you have to have a license. For the PC, Mac, it is free, as well as web. And then in the edit, yeah, that's a simple edit options that you get in every software nowadays. But there are also other options. We'll talk about this in our other tutorials. Assets, the same options you get here, and 
In essence, you can also import packages. The same package you can import as it was appearing when we were making the project. So, as it's import package, we can import package. As I was saying, like you can add sky. So if you add the sky boxes, just import it. Yeah. So once you have imported this sky box, it will come in the standard boxes. And if you want to install a sky, you have to go to build setting. Not the build setting, my bad. It is render setting. In the edit, in the edit, in edit, you have render setting. And you have to, you just have to drag here in the sky box material any sky you want like this and it will appear in the game version if you play this is what you will get it's cool so this is how you import packages and this is how it works and then you have create a game object now what game object is it's like um, any game object even the main camera represents as a game object even the text everything in the unity it acts like a game object in component uh, you have all these things rigid body rigid body is anything with gravity i'll get rid of this sky for now so if we create a cube we create a plane as well uh this is our plane right so and camera camera goes little bit in like this so we can see our plane as well and to make it clear we will add a light we can always have a directional light there are three kinds of light directional lights point light and 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 sport light Area light is useless light for me, really. So point light is something that is pointing towards. And sport light is, again, is like, uh, you know, you can see what it looks like. So directional light, we can set the intensity, how bright it should be, as well as, uh, the range, the range was there also. Okay. Yeah, so we can also uh, change the color as well. We can change the intensity. So, yeah, we can tweet it. So, if we click cube and click component physics rigid body so it adds the gravity here if you can see and we can change also the mass and degree and everything so once you will play see it looks like a rigid body so this is rigid body i think it is the most uh, important part of the unity it's it's really helpful for every game you make and then you have box sliders box sliders mean a simple collider that is all box mesh mesh collider they are uh, normally used for for parties for for like the models you import and then you have the joints also we'll talk about this later uh, then audio source that is used for the audios and the terrain, terrain is, you know, you have, if you are making a mountain, if you are making a, a cross, it is useful. It. And then in the windows you have uh, folders like asset store where you can download some models for free, some for, most of them are not free. And then you have this animation to animate something. If you want to animate, just press this record button, new animation, save. 
uh, frame by frame we can do it if it's 30 just drag it here where it goes all right one thing you can do you can set this animation here so it won't go anywhere actually not here here and this and in one it goes here so it will looks like this and then you can join so like uh, for now that is enough we have covered the RK inspector layout yeah we didn't count uh, through we didn't go through all of the simple functions but they always unity has so many functions and most of them are not always useful so we will be talking about the other functions as well but most of them are related to rigid body and uh, there is image effects also image effects is only available in unity pro image effects is like um, the effect in image like there is one image effect that smooth the edges if you can see right now here there the edges are very sharp with the image effect you can make it look smooth and some something like this and then we learned how to import packages we learned about local global so this is a start uh, from the next videos we'll be learning about the coding because coding is the main thing in the game uh, yep thanks for watching my tutorial and I will catch you on the next